Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some Football Manager 2016. Ah, oh, Sparta Rotterdam. Let's play. Now, uh, we have chosen our team for the game against Rhoda. Now, it's made some changes based on, on some uh, some of the, the game last time out where we played a weakened team in the cup and managed to win. One of those changes is it's trying to put stockers in. I think we're going to swap that round a little bit. We need to put a defender on the bench because our, our, our assistant manager has a, an adversity to doing that. Uh, we have lost. Um, we have lost old uh, Ahmed or young Ahmed. He's out unfortunately uh, for the best part of a month. Um, so we're going to have to put Neryl in the middle there, who has just come back to fitness, which is good news. Uh, we've got two left wingers on the bench, which is always good. Let's put Visses on the bench for for Rip Meester. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we're good to go. Um, I think this is the best we're going to be able to put out for the time being. So here we go. And we are expected to win this game. Let's see how we get on. Okay, and we're good to go. We are due a loss. I'm just going to throw that out there. And I think the other thing I would say at this moment in time is we haven't really come up against any of the big guns yet. Um, but we have gone a goal down within 14 minutes to a completely unmarked header. Which is a bit disappointing, I have to say. Look at it, nobody, nobody with him at all. Not even sure whose responsibility he was, there's that many people. Nobody, nowhere near him. Okay, 20 minutes gone, we need to come back from behind. Half an hour gone, we need to come back from behind. We haven't done anything yet. Wow. We've reached half time and we've done nothing. Question there. Let's question their passion, see if that does anything. Hasn't done anything yet. We're missing Ahmed. Ooh. Who'd have thought I'd be saying that this early on in the in his career? There's Fitto. Lagendrek. We've got no one really getting forward either, that's the problem. There's Rock. That's who we need on the ball. There's Van Buren. There's the ball across. There's the goal. Get in, Calero. We're back in this game. Rock and Van Buren combining. Gets right to the byline. Pulls it back. Unmarked at that near post because uh, the defender went out to try and cut out the cross. There's the goal. Come on, boys. Couple of changes. Let's just see if that makes any difference. Stockers is on. Visses is on. It's 20 minutes to go. Here comes Rhoda. We haven't looked good. Good save keeps. Can we keep them out from the set piece? Some player completely unmarked at the back post. Floranis out to rock. There's Visses. He's found Calero. There's Stockers. He's found Van Buren. There's the cross. There's the goal. Fitto is there. We've turned this one around. 20 minutes to go. Can we hold on is the question. Van Buren again with the cross. We almost, we came so close to selling Van Buren in the off-season. He's 30, 31 maybe. We were getting reasonable money off his for him. Um, and they kept coming back and offering more. Um, and I decided against it, and I'm very, very pleased I did. I've only just noticed that we are playing against our old goalkeeper, Kierboom. There's Visser's shot blocked. Calero to Visser's to Stockers. He's in. His shot is saved.
Okay, there's Fito with the corner. It's headed away. Rock is going to get there and kick it off the pitch. Probably to allow us to make the sub, I imagine, Rock, yeah? Um, can we hold on? A couple of minutes to go. Plus whatever injury time is added. We've hoofed it down the field. Swinkles is at the back for them. Samari has given that away. They're in behind us. They've hit the bar. Oh my god. I told you we were riding our luck a little bit. That's exactly what I mean. The youngster we bring on gives the ball away. Can we hold out? Yes, we can. The youngster we brought on gives the ball away. They play one pass down the field to have a one-on-one -on -one and they hit the underside of the bar, stroke the post, and uh, and we clear it. Okay, look at that though, we are still top of the league, unbeatable, we've got another achievement. Um, there we go, we've done a press conference for the first time in forever. Um, I'm going to talk to Fito and plays his recent form. There we go. And next up, we are up against Dordrecht. Our reserves have lost again. And whenever I see any kind of reserve result, we always seem to be losing, which is maybe a concern for the future, but we've got a lot of youngsters um, in the team. Now, the reason this is coming up is because I was attempting to try and sign him on loan, um, Jerome Sinclair. He decided on Falkirk instead, uh, which is fair enough, I suppose. Okay. And next game is coming round. They are 14th. Who'd have thought that Two months into the season, the start of the third month into the season, we would be sitting top of the league. I don't know why I keep saying it, but I'm just absolutely bamboozled by it. I have no idea how this is happening. I mean, look at the teams that we are above. <laughs> look at the top, f usual top four, essentially. Ajax, FC20, Feyenoord and PSV. <sighs> Ridiculous. I mean, I know that... What two wins or a win and a draw puts 20 above us? Um, it's just insane. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't even really want to question it. We've been so lucky in some games, but you know, after after 10 games or so, you have to assume that that maybe it's not just luck. But now I've said that, we're definitely getting beaten. Um, what an idiot! Right. Here we go. We're away from home. Same team as last time, pretty much. Off we go. I think that said I'm going in hard on the goalkeeper. <laughs> oh well. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Why do I get the feeling also that my fixture list is going to be all of those teams that I've just mentioned, one after the other? I'll have a look in a second, but I get that horrible feeling. Since we haven't played them yet, I get that horrible feeling that they're just going to be one after the other. There's the ball out to Van Buren. No, he's dangerous out on that wing. They can try to Calero out to Van Dronglen. Can he get a cross in? He can't. And here they come. One ball down the field and they are in. Defender can't get back and he's spooned. Spooned the effort. We've got fortunate. My assistant must be getting fed up of saying we're being overrun in midfield. He must be. Okay. 
half an hour, sorry, half time, and uh, nil nil. We've done very little to indicate that we might do anything in this game. But we also did that last last game, first half. We didn't touch the ball. Um, let's see how we get on in this second half. Can we create a single chance is the question. Haven't seen any of my wingers touch the ball. Here they are. They're in. We've got a block in. There's the ball out wide. There's the ball across and they've scored. The keeper got a hand to it. Probably should have kept that out. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. They kept hold of the ball well. They worked it across the field. Then managed to just pull it across. No defender near him. Defender didn't come across to, to try and make the block. He stayed with his man. Left him all sorts of space on the eight yards out. There's the finish. Okay. If anyone's got any suggestions, now would be a great time because I genuinely have no idea what to do here. Okay. Start with those changes. But we could be heading for our first loss of the season. I told you it was coming after bigging up where we are and saying that after 10 games it can't be a fluke. Um, Calero's chasing that. He's not going to get there. There's the clearance down the field. Oh, you stupid buffoon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sorensen, uh, sorry. Floranis, it's all on you. I think we're now heading for our first loss of the season. Oh, or are we? There's Visses. There's Stockers. We can't, can't even pass the ball three yards at this moment in time. And not only will we be being overrun in midfield, we're now going to be overrun in defence. But we've always got a little chance. There's Calero. There's the ball across. There's Stockers. Get in. Absolutely get in. Now, I think we probably want to make some changes here. Because I'm not convinced having... One player at the back is the wisest idea. Let's make those changes. This is, is going to stay there narrow. What have we got? The one time I didn't put my bloody centre half on the bench. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. Okay, narrow, you're staying there, mate. I've kept it in. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Well, well, well. Well done for getting us back in the game, Stuckers, and well, for, well done for getting us out of the game just as quickly. Appreciate that. Oh, hello. Who'd have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, we're going to try and counter, we're going to try and hold out what we've got. I have to say a draw here would be a fantastic result if we can get it. A win would be even better. A win would be even better. Oh. We couldn't, could we? We couldn't, could we? We Oh, Fitto, put your head on it, man. There we go. There we go. I don't know what to say to that. We'll send the assistant. Um, okay. Okay. So a draw, not a horrendous result. Uh, 
Let's um, let's warn him for his uh, his training performances, and let's praise these guys. And let's do it for Androngland as well. An hour half we won't worry too much about. Okay, we'll call it the end of the episode there. Let's just have a little look at what that has done. We're still top of the league, but we've played an extra game. Uh, but, ridiculous. And there was me saying, after 10 games, we haven't reached 10 games, so maybe it is still a fluke. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.